proving it? Sure, reading, learning, knowledge is proof. And uh, there's plenty of books on University of Eucadia that give uh, uh, truth to what we're saying, and the canons give truth to what we're saying. But beyond that, I don't really know what much more I can add to the to the question slash statement. Well, thank you for that, Frank. The thing of it is that all of us run into is that you know we can send them to 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 some places to read. However, they always want to question where that information is coming from. It, it's as if you know they're just happy being in the matrix. Don't. Don't don't uh, cause any waves, and and really, do they really want to read? Do they really want to know? And that's what we all run into, even to, so even with some of our close family members. It's as if we're not <laughs> really related. It, it's just the strangest feeling. Well, we are in that time of separation, and I understand ignorance is bliss. I can empathise with it, and there's more than more than one time every day that I think wouldn't it be nice to be back in the matrix and to not know this and to be blissful, blissfully ignorant. But then I'm reminded as the change is happening and, and the impending uh, problems in America, whether they, they raise the debt ceiling or not, the, the changes and collapsing in, in uh, Europe, the desperation of the Israeli Secret Service in setting off MK Ultra trained people in Norway. All this stuff that's happening in in, uh, in the world is accelerating. Everything's accelerating, and and it means that those that don't want to know um, refuse to get the stuffing out of their ears. At some point, you're going to find a very strange phenomenon occurring that all those people that thought you were mad, all those people that thought you were into conspiracy theories. At some point, they're going to start knocking and calling and saying, please tell us how we get out of this. How do we get out of this mess? And at that point, I hope we've got the canons to a sufficient completion and that with the communities and the money system that are intimately connected, the local community and the money system, the money system comes to life through the local community system, that those things are in place. Well, yeah, that, that's pretty much where, where it's at because uh, it's not going to change what the truth is, even though they question it. It's just that, uh, you know, <laughs> we're betting against it every day, you know, every day with family members that we're just trying to help them wake up and see what's going on around them and what the truth is. So um, I think that's why we all kind of, con- you know, come together because we're all seeking the truth and seeking what uh, the remedy or relief is um, and sharing knowledge and sharing information. All right, well, next it is, question. Yeah, it is, it is ahead, uh, just quickly, it is getting out there. And no matter how frustrating it appears, keep this in mind. The awakening that's happening out in the world is because of everything all of you are doing. It is happening because you are playing an intrinsic part This is a spiritual battle and war first before it's a temporal war. And I always say that. Remember, the change in you and the change in your thought and the change in spirit is what has had a greater effect first than the temporal. The temporal always happens second. If you look at the surface and everything above it being the temporal, all, most, in fact, most of what has happened, already changed, is below the surface and can't yet be seen. People sense it, but can't be seen. So, yeah, good on you. Absolutely. Thank you, Frank. Uh, Okay, now we're going to go back to a question here from the the Melchizedek. Uh, Is the great writ the same as the notice to the three popes of their live born records? Uh, I see what you're saying. So the three P's was the three popes. Have we had any response back from the three popes? No, we haven't. Um, Will we get a response? No. I mean, the Vatican is full of parasites, full to the brim. I mean, it is parasite central, and they will not respond. 
When we send the package to the Bank for International Settlement, they will not respond. When we give notice, as did Martin Luther on October the 31st, almost 500 years since anyone took the battle in law in, in clear form to the front doors of St. Peter's, they will not respond. That is because for some reason, I mean, it's their choice, but for some reason, they're finding it impossible. Now, I'm sorry if there was a confusion there. I didn't know what was meant by the three Ps. Now I understand it was the three Popes, and I went off to talk about the Great Ritz. But no, there hasn't been a response, and I don't expect there to be a response. Yeah, I would. We, I think I didn't catch that either. So I was asking him to asking him to uh, straighten that out for us. That helped a lot. All right. Just as a reminder, if anyone on the phone lines has a question, star eight on your phone. We'll put you in the question and answer queue. And uh, let's see. I'm not catching any other questions, Frank. Did you do you have any over there on um, Skype coming through to you? To, or unless you want to go ahead and wrap up. Well, look, just more um, thoughts on your. We've got. I see East Pennsylvania has just sparked up. Um, okay. Yeah. Let's get East Pennsylvania. All right. Probably. Hello. Right. Okay. First. Hurry, I don't have a computer. That's why I can't get you by computer. Oh, I forgot. Okay. Yeah, it's all good. I'll, I'll be back online okay. pretty soon, I hope. Okay. I, have to, okay. I have to move somebody out and then get my house together. But okay. that's okay. Um, basically, what you guys, what's going on is a lot, a lot of insanity is happening here. I mean, really a lot. Because even though this, the economy is still good here because we're food-based, in Lancaster, um, I'm just seeing different things like insanity where people are just going out and, and I mean, the people which usually came into the area to work are coming into the area and they're stealing straight out. I mean, we're talking two post offices were vandalized and they're going to close them down because of that. But things are different here. It's not like our, we're, we're rural post office. There isn't even a postmaster. There's one person which runs the whole post office. So, but I mean, there, there's stuff like that happening right here. So, um, as I don't know, as far as the paper bulls go, <laughs> I mean, you, you didn't expect any kind of problem, did you? There, am I still? No, on? no. But look, I, I just answered because it was a comment just put into to uh, to the chat, and and it is it is true. When I say that I don't expect a response from, from what we're doing, I, I, I'm not actually being negative. And, and it probably sounds like I am being negative. I'm not. Nothing that I'm doing is, is being negative. What, when I, when I, yeah. Whenever we do something, whenever, whenever you and, and what the wonderful things that you are doing, right, is, is, it is for the spirit first, for the for the flesh and the mind second, always. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And, and whenever I do it, I know that what we did on June the 12th in history will never be forgotten. I know what we do in August the 15th, even though it seems <clears throat> very short because we're running short of time, it will get sent out, will be regarded in history. And I know that what we're doing now is having a spiritual effect that is changing the course of what's happening for this planet. But I have no control over their flesh, over their mind. So, yeah, we, before, the, before the dawn comes the dark, and right now we're seeing an almost complete collapse of their system. Yeah. Well, I, um, from what I understand, okay, this is just something... I'm sorry, I'm outside right now. Um, well, I understand they covered our skies. Well, they covered our skies doubly today. Apparently, there was something in the sky they didn't want us to see today. Now, finally, it's all starting to go away. I'm starting to see stars. Sorry about, you know, bringing that up right now. It's really what I've been thinking about all day. Like, 
a, a supposed sunny day turn into a totally – we couldn't even see anything. You couldn't even see yep. any touch of the sky. And they, and they were crossing it. They kept on crossing the skies. So I'm wondering well, what the well, what, one of the things that's happening in the quickening is that it's like a giant, um, it's like a giant uh, gauze filter, and and the vibration, the earth is vibrating and the spiritual plane is vibrating and it's sorting things out, and so people in the military, remember the whole system has been based on fear and patronage, on lies and truths. It's been all based on divide and conquer for so so long. And what you're seeing right across the world, everywhere, is that good people are starting to say, no, I'm not going to support this madness anymore. And you're seeing this change, whether it be the, the Arab Spring, whether it be the changes in the, in the States, whether it be the changes in Europe. It's happening everywhere. Don't judge people because they've, they've done bad till now, that they'll do bad in the future. Don't judge a judge because he works in the private bar guild, that he is a he is a loss a lost cause. Our job yeah. should never be to judge anybody, but to, and I think what you're doing is brilliant. What you're doing is brilliant. What everyone is doing is brilliant. It's having an effect. We are having an effect, and that is something we should remind ourselves, even if we still, like now, we find ourselves in the trenches. Yeah. Yeah. Speaking about the trenches, one one last thing. Yeah. Today there's been, I'm not that far from Washington. There's been a lot of heavy movement towards Washington with a lot of equipment today. Yeah. Because I, I live on, I live right off the main road, and, and it's, they're using the they're using the back roads instead of the main roads. A lot of equipment moved down through through my area, and I mean a lot. So I don't know what's going on right now, but there was one oh. hell. Of a, Moving towards Washington, so yeah, wheel, wheels within wheels there. Um, yeah, but uh, look, uh, I think uh, we stick to our our job, joke yes. or work task, <laughs> whatever we want to call it, um, and and the bigger picture takes care of itself. But good luck with what you're doing, and I hope things are going well with Five Worlds. I need to. I didn't have a chance to speak with you from the last call, but I, I assure you, I will. Call you on this day to speak with you. Okay. okay? Uh, yeah, I'm trying to get hold. I'm trying to get hold of some of the um, Iroquoian elders for you know so so that I can use their parts because it all matches up. Good. So I, have to, I have to have permission. Okay, from from them in order to. So we'll talk about that on the side. All right. Well, great, uh, Ray. Be be safe. Thank you. Thank you, Ray. Yes. All right. Uh, Frank, can you explain the difference between a pope and an anti-pope? Sure. A pope is one that was elected to the original Catholic Church under the laws and structure of the original Catholic Church, which was founded by the Pippins, otherwise known as the uh, the uh, Charlemagne uh, or the Carolingians uh, and the Benedicts and the Saxons. So the original Catholic Church was founded in the 8th century by the Pippins to usurp the corruption of imperial Christianity coming out of Constantinople. And the true popes lasted. In fact, I think there's, I think there still is a true pope somewhere. I think the, they have still have a true pope somewhere there. Uh, but it, it basically they lost control in the 11th century, and then finally were run out of time, run out of town by about the 15th century. But in that period, the Venetians, who funded, this is the Magyar Sabbatians. They basically funded the creation of the Roman cult and then the Holy See as a private business. The Holy See is a private business. That's what people don't realize. It's not a religion, it's a business. 
The Roman Catholic Church is not a religion. It is a private business venture. 